Hey everyone, in the news this week, climate change activists threaten to glue themselves to the Grand National Racetrack in order to disrupt or prevent the horse race, and it does make you wonder if they know where glue actually comes from. Oscar Pistorius looks set to be released on early parole, apparently he's unlikely to jump bail, and physically unable. As the old saying goes, roses are red, violets are glorious, never creep up on Oscar Pistorius. And there was yet another high school shooting in the US. Apparently the leading cause of death there in under 16 year olds is guns, although in China it's protesting, so it could be worse. And talking about protesting, there's been a lot of it over the upcoming indictment of Donald J. Trump, or as he may soon be known, Donald Jail Trump. This is the latest of multiple attempts over the years to charge him with something, anything, no matter how trivial, in order to prevent him running for president and likely winning an election next year, going by the latest polling and the increasingly incompetence of a Biden administration, which has been shown to have been far more corrupt than Trump ever was, albeit without any police action ever being countenanced. A few years ago, they were going to prove that Trump was a paid employee of the Russian government, and that didn't turn out to be true, although we now know that the Biden family was and possibly still is being paid by the Chinese government. Trump was impeached over allegations of corruption with Ukraine, although there's now an actual recording of Joe Biden making identical comments to the Ukrainian government during the Obama era, so they had to drop it. Then he wanted to arrest Trump over holding classified documents at Mar-a-Lago, and they were this close to it, but then it emerged that Biden had been doing exactly the same thing in keeping boxes of classified documents at his house in Delaware, and he'd been doing it over a decade, and there's even a family photograph of him in his garage with everything stacked up neatly behind him, the way that you or I would maybe keep Christmas decorations during the rest of the year. A lot of his supporters struggling to defend him say, well, at least he's not Trump. But that line's increasingly dubious now, and at least the economy wasn't collapsing on Trump's watch, and Eurasia was under control. It remains to be seen, of course, whether Trump's going to comply with any of it, of course. He lives in Florida, and the Florida governor has actually stated that they're going to refuse to cooperate with any federal arrest, one which supposedly doesn't have strong enough evidence to actually find him guilty. The idea is to get him in court, stretch it out, and keep him off the campaign trail for as long as possible. And with the US legal system and lengthy appeals process, that could be years, potentially. On the other hand, there would be zero risk of him being put in handcuffs if he and Stormy Daniels hadn't been playing around with handcuffs several years ago. Anyway, see you next week. If that is, please subscribe.